Hello everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to our My Player Career Mode. I hope I find you all doing fantastic, having an awesome day, and I thank you for all the support that you all show me. We are back for more My Player action today. If you missed the previous episode, go back, check it out. Otherwise, I'm about to spoil what happened. If you did see that video though, you know that we are out of the Champions League following a 4-0 second leg defeat to PSG. We did all right in the first leg. We drew it three all, which meant we headed over to Paris with optimism. But um, yeah, that optimism was short-lived because after that 4-0 defeat, we crash out of European football this season with Salzburg. But it's not all doom and gloom because we might be on track to win our first trophy as a pro. We've got league action coming your way today as we look to secure the title. And then after that, at the end of the season, we do have the Osterreich Pokal final against Austria Vienna. So it's a chance to do the double here at Salzburg. And it could well be our only chance to do the double at Salzburg because we failed to achieve our objectives. The successful sliding tackles won. Eight out of 30 means that I don't think Salzburg will renew our contract at the end of the season. So where we will go... I have absolutely no idea. It's going to be interesting to see who wants to sign us if Salzburg do not renew our contract. I can't imagine we will complete this objective between now and the end of the season, but who knows? We'll see. With all that being said, it's time to jump into the episode today. Sit back, relax, and enjoy, my friends, as we'll go for, let's aim for a 1,000 likes, as always. That would be amazing. First up today is Austria Klagenfurt, and there is the starting 11 as we travel to their place. Koza to Capaldo. Back the way of Koza. This is nice. Now Bebu. Bebu finds me. One more into Sangare. You surely will finish for Salzburg. And Sangare will oblige. Five minutes gone. Salzburg off to a flyer. Wonderful finish by Sangare. The skipper today for Salzburg. And our future at the moment at the club is, as I say, up in the air because we've not completed the objectives set for us by the boss. But I just wonder whether or not that might affect the level of team as well that want to sign us at the end of the season. I've not seen what happens when you don't complete the objectives because, of course, we did complete them with Wrexham. So we were able to re-sign our deal there. Here is Bebu. Bebu now for Salzburg. Turning, finding Sangare, the goal scorer. Sahi Dion, nice back heel. Bebu, Capaldo has it opened up here. Sahi Dion, Sangare! Oh, he almost got a second. He is looking lively. He wants the goals today. He arrives from midfield again. And he was so unlucky to not put Salzburg 2-0 up. Chance to cross here. Whipped in as the ball goes towards the middle. Velasco, shot from Capaldo. Controlled by Bebu, in fact. And nearly actually resulted in a chance for Bebu. Here is Selis. Left-hand side. Klagenfurt into the area of Salzburg. Nicely done here as that is a chance. But Fiore steps in. Wins it back for Salzburg. We'll find Bebu. He'll play Sahi Dion. As we approach half-time, we can be happy at 1-0, but I would like another goal just to make sure there is nothing to be found here for Klagenfurt. That ball out wide, finding Svensson. He controls and shows too much of it, though, to the Klagenfurt player, and that is half-time. Salzburg lead at the break, but it is just the 1-0 scoreline at the moment. Svensson, Sangare, Svensson again. Sangare to his left. Here he is, then. He's still got Svensson down the line, and he will play Svensson. He's onside here. Svensson's ball goes in the middle. We control it, but it's not the best of touches. It's one back, but it falls for Bebu. Capaldo. Sahi Dion's onside. He's got a score and he hasn't done. Straight to the goalkeeper. The number seven of Klagenfurt played him onside. And it was a glorious chance for Salzburg to find a second. And somehow it's not 2-0. 25 minutes to play here. Still Salzburg in front. But just the one goal. Capaldo's back heel finds Boucher. There's the second. Salzburg have got it. And surely that sinks Klagenfurt now, who've offered little going forwards. An inspired substitution. Bush is on. And I actually think he replaced Sangare. So actually, Sangare got the opener. Bush gets the second. He's wearing the armband. So that makes me think he did replace Sangare. And what a time to get it as well. As Salzburg, we needed that just to make sure of the victory. The last thing I wanted was for them to get one lucky chance and draw level. Eight minutes left of the 19. Not to disrespect any of the other teams in the Austrian Bundesliga, but if Salzburg were to fail to secure the title, then that's not something I really wanted to be saying because at this point in time, it looks a formality that the title is coming 
away with Salzburg. There's the third of this afternoon. It's our first of the day as well. It's been a great start to the episode, but what we need to do is keep this going. What a finish. Any moment now, there's the full-time whistle and Salzburg. Three points to start the episode. That's a great result for us. Couple of international friendlies that I chose to sim. Germany, 2-1 defeat. Qatar, 3-2 victory. Really, the only team that we need to worry about is Rapid Vienna. They're six points behind us after this league table is split into the championship group and the relegation group. We do take on Rapid Vienna. We've got Sturm Graz, LASK, and then Rapid Vienna will be the final game of today. So let's make sure we head into that final match off the back of wins and not dropping any points to give Rapid Vienna any kind of hope of lifting the title. And for the visit of Sturm Graz, the starting 11 is there. No place for Sangare though, after his goal scoring heroics. Boucher and Capaldo, the midfield two. Piatkowski forward to Boucher, now finds Gorner. Gorner back the way of Koza, Boucher involved again. Sahi Dion, slightly fortunate to still have it, almost picks out the run of Capaldo. If he had have done, I think that's 1-0 Salzburg. Oh, mistake made here, Texaria Jr. profiting. As he's through on goal, Sturm Graz to open up the scoring. Texaria Jr. took it wide and Crumry will make the save. But it was a mistake that nearly, very nearly, allows Sturm Graz to take the lead here. You cannot be doing that. Corner ball in. Koza gets to the first ball. And does he get to the second? Not quite. But Piatkowski hooks it clear away. And Sturm Graz got a bit of confidence from that little mistake there, it seems. They're on the ball here and looking to make something happen. We intercept that pass. It wasn't great, in all honesty. And we can drive us forwards here. Now Sahi Dion finding Bebu. Bebu, Capaldo sees my run down the line. What can we do from this position though? As we look to turn back inside and wait for the overlap. There it is of Svensson on the right-hand side. Get the cross in. Doesn't yet. Capaldo now heads it down my way. The touch is really poor. It's really, really poor. As we try to go around the defender, not great. And 20 minutes in, Sturm Graz have the best chance so far. Svensson's ball into my feet. Inside is Capaldo. Now Bebu will continue the run down the right-hand side. Bebu will find us. We'll wait for Svensson and turn back inside. Svensson needs to make that move into the little bit of space there, but he didn't. Capaldo is now found by him. As he's got a chance here, Svensson, Capaldo, it's nicely worked. We get to turn and look to place it, but it's over the bar. And that's wasted. And you can see my reaction as well. Just can't keep it down. Can we win the flick on? The answer is no. Stankovic gets there first and somehow I'm now injured. Maybe I landed funny when the ball came and uh, I jumped up for it. But yeah, we've got a little injury sign next to our name here, which is not great. Don't want to be injured, um, especially with the final on the horizon. So hopefully we'll be all right here. But Alex Cardero, half-time whistle looming. It's been a tough first half for Salzburg. Sturmgras have not made this easy. And it's going to be an interesting second half to see just how it goes. Sturmgras are willing to send players forward, though, so they don't want to play out for a draw here. I imagine they'll look to try and get the lead in the second half. It's a brilliant run! Sai Dion Sorensen in the right place at the right time. I don't know how much he knew about it, but he blocks it. And Sai Dion's effort just before the break does not lead to Salzburg's opening goal. First change of the game for Salzburg. Divock Origi is on for Sahi Dion. The good news is as well as we come back out for the second half is that the injury sign has gone off. So whatever it was, injury-wise, seems to have subsided here. We look okay. Boucher finds me inside. Origi on the turn. Gets one chance at it. As the ball bounces back, hits him on the arm. It's a free kick. Oh, Stankovic. We've been able to win it off him, but now we need to pick the right pass. We've got Bebu. Bebu, he's giving it away, but it falls my way again. We found Origi, and he's not, he's not offside. There was a little touch. I can't quite believe that's how we just scored. We nearly, well and truly, messed that up. We pick the pocket of Stankovic at the halfway line, and then the pass to Bebu, he finds the defender, then tackles him. It comes to me. I tried to play Rigi. I'm pretty certain there's a touch off one of the defenders of Sturm Graz as the ball goes through to Rigi. And then my second thought is, is he offside? No. The flag stays down. Salzburg lead. And, well, that's certainly one way to carve the chance. Take nothing away, though, from the finish of Divock Origi. Three in four for him this season. 
no idea what is going on with Rapid Vienna either. So that goal could be quite important, especially if they are winning. Um, so, yeah, that's really, really crucial. We got that as we can now look for a second. And the confidence seemingly is flowing. Bebu, Terzic! Wide. Goalkeeper did not get a touch. Goal kick. Final few minutes of the game. It's been a bit of a struggle for Salzburg. But the important fact is that they've got the job done. He says, as Texaria Jr. is looking to make a chance, but he can't. And that ball has reached me. Two additional minutes. We are almost done here. Boucher, Gorner, Bebu. What can he do from this position? Is there a chance for a second for Salzburg? Capaldo, Origi, Capaldo, Gorner, Boucher. It's wonderfully worked. And it's finished off with expertise as well. Salzburg, stunning goal to finish it off and make it two as we celebrate in front of the fans. And it will be two wins from two today. What a move and what a finish at the end of it. Weaker right foot, a little bit worried about it, but it came in clutch. Origi's little ball through, got one here today in the way of a goal and one in the way of an assist. Argument to say he should be starting the next game as we just fire the ball home. And as soon as play gets back underway, that is the end of this one. 2-0 win, on to the next. And the gap at the top has slightly opened up. Following Rapid Vienna's draw, we are now eight points clear of them. LASK to come before we take on Rapid Vienna. Here is the team the boss has named. Unfortunately, no start for Divok Origi as Asmoon and Sahi Dion are up front. That's a strong challenge and the referee says it's fine! And it's led to an opening goal for LASK! Salzburg will ask the question to the referee, but no free kick. LSK score. It was done that quickly that the camera wasn't even to, able to pan over to it. We'll see here. The challenge there. Oh, it's, it's a difficult one. He gets a lot of the ball, but it is through the back of Koza. Taking it off and away from the finish is exquisite. And LSK won't care because they lead from the first shot of the game. But again, the question is, is it a foul on Koza? Here's the moment then, as the challenge comes through. Nope, it is just a phenomenal challenge. What a tackle that is. Right decision from the referee. And it means that Salzburg will have to come back from a goal to nil down then if they want to get something from this game, which I was not expecting it to start the way it has done. As Boucher to Asmoon. Asmoon finds my feet. Right, here we go then. Let's get this first chance. Svensson. Capaldo, Capaldo finds me in the middle and there's Boucher, it's over the bar and unfortunately first chance of the game for Salzburg goes astray. Tell what he's trying to do, he's just trying to place it but just a bit too much height. Svensson, Pavlovic, here is Capaldo, now finds Asmoon. Asmoon to Sahidi on back heel for Boucher, Boucher towards Koza, Koza's done well, finds my feet, there's the equaliser. 23 minutes gone. And we weren't behind for too long. Salzburg won. LASK won. 18 goals in 26 matches this season for us now, which is quite the return. Here is Capaldo following an LASK free kick. There's a chance for Salzburg to look forward, but we've had to slow the play down, which has allowed them to get back behind the ball. Now Asmoon finds Sahi Dion. Could go out wide here. He has gone out wide. Ball goes into the middle. And there's the header, but we just can't keep it down. It was a nice idea. The run was made. Great cross. Frustrated myself. Understandably so. Should do better with a chance like this as we get in between the two defenders. Just can't keep the header down and on target. Capaldo. Svensson. Asmoon. Ten minutes to go until half time. Svensson now finds Asmoon. Asmoon in the area. His cross goes in. There's Sahi Dion. Drews. Good save. Header at the near post from Sahi Dion. Single minute of added time here in the first half as Salzburg... Have been better since conceding, but it is only 1-1 as we head into half-time. Svensson, Capaldo, Asmoon. Asmoon has found me, and we've tried to get something in the way of a shot. Asmoon's done well there to win that header. As we can get into the LASK penalty area towards that byline like we love to do. Back it goes! Sai Dion, Sir Alter in the way. We've had a few of those now where we've got towards the byline and it's just that final finish that we can't quite get right. Asmoon lets it go to Boucher, but he will get the finish right and Salzburg will lead. Boucher with his second of the episode today. And as I say, we love to get towards that byline. It's just when we cut the ball back, it's that final finish we need to work on. 
Um, nevertheless, we have the lead here from 1-0 down to 2-1 up. Lovely back heel by Sahi Dion. Asmoon just slides it to the way of Boucher. Keeper nearly gets there, to be fair to him. Full time here, Salzburg 2, LASK 1 leads us nicely into Rapid Vienna to finish the episode. And just as we played that game there, Rapid Vienna played Sturm Graz and lost by two goals to one. Which means we're 11 points clear heading into this game against them. And I actually want to check just to see if we beat them, that would put us 14 clear. Would that win as the title? Unfortunately, no, because even if we beat them and go 14 points clear, there are still five more matches to play in the league. So it would mean there's still 15 points to play for. However, beat them here. We're in a really good position to almost be able to say that we are champions of the Austrian Bundesliga. For the final game of today, then, this is the starting eleven the boss has named for the visit of Rapid Vienna. Terzic now finding the feet of Sangare. Forward to Asmoon. Touch to try and go round the defender. Doesn't quite work out as Asmoon intended. Rapid Vienna get it back. And in this first 15 minutes, they've actually had more of the ball than Salzburg. They're quite composed and willing to be patient to carve open their chances, holding it in midfield quite well. Meanwhile, Salzburg, they want to get the chance quickly because every time we get it, there's an urgency to us. Here is Piatkowski, forward to myself. Turn, allowed to run. Now we'll find Bebu. Bebu into that space. Lovely touch. Back inside, finds myself. We'll go out wide here towards Terzic. Goes for the cross. Sangare in the middle. Can he get the shot away? Penalty given! Salzburg have a spot kick. And 20 minutes gone. Rapid Vienna protest. The referee, no hesitation. It's a clumsy challenge, but is it a penalty? I don't know. I don't know. We are given responsibility for the spot kick to put Salzburg ahead here. And there's absolutely no mistake. It is a wonderful penalty into the top right corner. Salzburg in front. We'll have to see this one again. What a penalty. There you go. Here's how you do it. Nice. Quick. Fired into that top right corner. And yeah, what a peno. Puts us ahead here, but I have a feeling the goals are not done there. Terzic, switch of play. Can we win the flick on? We can. Here's Hume. Now has it for Salzburg. Hume then in towards the box. Tried to get a crossing chance, which has not presented itself yet. As we have a corner whipped in towards Asmoon. There he is. 2-0 Salzburg. Control is ours of this game. I mentioned they were willing to be patient. Rapid Vienna to find their chance. Well, now they cannot be. Urgency required because Salzburg are 2-0 in front. They might have had more of the ball than us, but we have been so much more effective when we've had it. Here is Asmoon. Now Capaldo. Capaldo, right-hand side. Hume is now making his move. Capaldo will find him. Hume, there's options in the middle for him. He goes back the way of Capaldo. Now Bebu. Bebu towards myself. The turn away. Get the shot as well. But it's saved by Hadel. And now then, another Salzburg corner. We scored from the last one. Let's see if we can do something from this one. It's an out-swinging corner this time, though. Not an in-swinging one. Gurner does meet it with his head, but it's wide of the mark. Salzburg will be thrilled, though, with this first half, the way it's gone. As it stands... We're going 14 points clear of the Austrian Bundesliga. And with only 15 points to play for, the title is probably going to be ours in the very next episode as we turn away there from the challenge. Asmoon's made his move. Here he goes for 3-0. Asmoon, Hadel saves again. It's looking a bit like a training session. We're enjoying ourselves out there. Whipped in. That time, not enough on it to find the head of Asmoon, but we'll get a second chance. As we go to the edge of the penalty area for Capaldo. Capaldo. Sangare! It is three! It is Sangare with a thunderous effort into the bottom corner. Oh, man. What a first half of football that Salzburg have enjoyed here. Rapid Vienna knew it would be tough coming here to try and get any type of result to keep the pressure on us. Well, pressure is not really there anymore because that goal... From Sangare before the break. Takes it to 3-0. And I don't think there's a world where they can come back in the second half. Rapid Vienna. I'm saying that. Stranger things have happened. So, anyway, I do feel that we are going 14 clear at the top of the Austrian Bundesliga. Pavlovich. Oh, no. That's not what you want to see. Morales has stolen it. 
Heavy touch from Pavlovich, but Morales still got work to do here. Brilliant defending by Piatkowski. Stood his ground, made sure there was to be no chance. Pavlovich forward to Asmoon. Asmoon to Bebu. Bebu finds my feet. My stamina's not looking too great at the moment, so I'm just trying to keep the play ticking and not make too many runs like I would normally. And that way I will get through the 90 minutes as we play it out wide here to the left-hand side for Terzic. He'll control. He's got the run of Sangare ahead of him. Here is Sangare. Nice touch into space. Put the cross in. Sangare finds Bebu near post. The touch lets him down, though. Goes straight out of play. Ten minutes to go. Salzburg job is done here. Corner defended by Salzburg. And that is the last action. What a result. That means we are pretty much there to secure the Austrian Bundesliga title. And that, my friends, is where we are going to leave today's episode. A huge thank you for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like rating. It really does help in pushing out the videos to new viewers. Subscribe if you aren't around here and like what you see. I am really happy to say that I reached 100,000 subscribers. So thank you to every single one of you who continue to support what I do. And uh, yeah, it would not have been possible without you. So a huge, huge thank you. Until next time, stay safe, have a great day, have a great evening, look after each other, and I'll see you all back here for another episode very soon in which we will look to secure the Austrian Bundesliga title. We could wrap it up as early as the next game against LASK, so you don't want to miss it. Adios!